Hello, and welcome to this episode for Product of the Week. I'm your host, Robin Mitchell. In today's episode, we will be looking at the all-inspiring, all-magical NRF. That really hurt my finger. <laughs> the all-inspiring, all-magical NRF 7002DK, a development kit that lets you play with Nordic's latest Wi-Fi 6 companion IC, the NRF 7002. So let's start with the most important thing. What exactly is the NRF 7002 DK? While the name may not give too many clues, I can assure you that this board is pretty darn interesting, especially for engineers looking to create the latest Wi-Fi 6 gadgets. This development kit integrates everything you could possibly need to use the Nordic NRF 7002, including a processor, programmer, and numerous peripherals. If I had to pick one reason why this board is awesome, it's because it was sent to me for free and I'm getting paid to sit here in comfort while Richard does everything I need. Coffee, can I get that with cream and uh, make it 85 degrees this time, thanks. Okay, in all honesty, I would have to say that the fact that everything you need to develop the NRF7002 is found on a single board. At the same time, the software development kit used with the NRF7002 works with Visual Studio Code, which is a massive bonus. And the fact that the NRF7002 is focused on low energy, which makes it ideal for wearables. Okay, so that's three reasons, but you can see that this dev kit has a lot going for it. Before we look at the features of this board, we first need to understand how Nordic NRF dev kits work. The most important part of this board is the NRF7002 itself, which is the IC that provides Wi-Fi 6 capabilities. The rest of the board is supporting hardware that lets you play with the NRF7002 IC. So to start, the NRF7002, as we literally said just a second ago, is a companion IC that provides Wi-Fi 6 capabilities, which means that you can connect it to any other microcontroller or SOC over SPI and QSPI, and it is used as a Wi-Fi modem. At the same time, the NRF7002 has been specifically designed for low power applications, thus enabling battery operated projects and Nordic has stated that it will support all common protocols, including Matter, Bluetooth LE, and Thread. Speaking of which, the Electromaker film crew visited the live demos at the Nordic stand during this year's Embedded World Conference, so if you are interested to see these things in action, go and check out the video we published a few weeks ago. Spoiler alert, the demo includes Matter, Bluetooth LE, and Thread. Link in the description. With regards to frequency, this chip allows for both 2.4 and 5 GHz operation, has 20 MHz channel bandwidth, and coexisting interfaces for using different wireless protocols simultaneously. The development board itself integrates an NRF5340, which is an insanely brilliant dual-core SOC. One of these cores is the application core, which provides you with 128 MHz ARM Cortex-M33 with 1 MB of flash and 512 kilobytes of RAM, while the second core, called the network processor, provides you with a 64 MHz ARM Cortex-M33 with 256 kilobytes of flash and 64 kilobytes of RAM. In conjunction with this, there are a host of other peripherals and features including trusted execution, secure key storage, and integrated Bluetooth. The development board also integrates a Sega Link programmer, meaning that you only require a single USB cable to program the NRF5340, and it includes a host of additional features such as the Arduino Shield connectors, buttons, and LEDs which let you develop an entire project on a single board. Basically, it's everything you could possibly need to play with the NRF7002. Well, unless you are a complete idiot and haven't been following this video, the NRF7002 is perfect for any modern Wi-Fi application that needs to focus on reducing energy consumption. If used with the NRF5340, engineers can create extremely energy efficient wearable devices such as smartwatches and health monitors with the NRF7002 providing remote connectivity. 
The NRF7002 DK is also excellent for developing asset trackers, small devices that are attached to something of importance that need tracking. One such example of where you would need to use something like this would be remote monitoring of a shipping crate whose contents could be pharmaceuticals, and this is quite important because specific environmental conditions need to be met. Another excellent use of the NRF7002 DK is prototyping smart city and smart home devices. The rise of protocols such as Matter will undoubtedly see the vast majority of the industry work together, so using the NRF7002 ensures that your projects will be compatible with other devices and software environments on the market. The NRF7002 DK is an all-in-one development tool for working with the Nordic NRF7002, integrating an NRF5340 and Sega Link programmer. The combination of the two Nordic chips allows engineers to create projects focused on wireless connectivity and low energy requirements, and the many connectors including the Arduino Shield pin sockets enable for quick expansion with other development boards. So, if you are interested in getting your hands on one of these and want to help support this channel, then head over to the Electromaker store where you can also find all the bits and bobs you'll ever need. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Thank <laughs> you.